What is up guys, DJ Neeks here, and I would like to welcome you guys to the playthrough of the first of a trilogy that has become very dear to my heart. A trilogy that, for me personally, is one of my, has become my all-time favorite trilogy, a video, a video game trilogy, I should clarify. And of course, as you can see, it is Mass Effect. And Mass Effect, you know, for me, this is my own personal opinion. I consider it to be the video game equivalent of what Star Wars, the Star Wars trilogy, the the original, not the not the terrible prequels, the original trilogy was for movies. Now, it may not have had as much of an impact as Star Wars, the Star Wars movies have had, but in some ways. It actually, you know, it somewhat has, or at least it's been talked about by other people in that way. I've heard some people say that no, not since the Star Wars universe was introduced has there been a universe more uh, desirable to be explored and uh, learned about, you know, you know, and learn about more than the universe of this franchise, Mass Effect. And it's it's really one of those games that. Is a once in a generation thing that people even year years later still talk about and you may you know hopefully you guys will see that as I plan and intend to play through all three games starting with a new character that I'm gonna create here and I hope that you guys understand why I love this trilogy over time and come to love it as much as I do now of course as we listen to the beautiful music here I love this music. And as we uh, get ready to do this, I do want to give a, you know, a you know, a discretion, you know, warning here. This is a mature rated franchise, but uh, there's, you know, there's not going to be f bombs, you know, every other word or anything like that. You know, there is, uh, you know, gunplay violence, you know, against uh, mechanical robots, you know, as we're gonna see throughout. Uh, there's, you know, gameplay violence. There is going to be, I don't know, maybe an occasional inappropriate word or such. And uh, there's also, you know, as Mass Effect has been known for, the the romances. Now, this was a, con you know, very, uh, the controversy about this was very confusing in some regards. Uh... You know, it was reported that there was like full frontal nudity and stuff and stuff in this, and it was completely inaccurate. When you actually saw it, you realized it was a complete lie. It was a complete exaggeration. Uh, you know, and I I might just you know cut that from the video. I'm not sure. You know, I haven't decided yet because you know it's kind of you know for the purposes of showing the romance. You know. If if it gives if there's quality if there's taste you know if it, if it's as long as it's not juvenile or anything then you know I guess it's you know it's up to you if 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 it's uh, if it gives purpose you know if there's reason behind it if there's purpose to it then at least there's an artistic taste to it but anyway you know that's my uh, you know viewer discretion advised this is mature rated franchise so you know kids if there are any kids watching you know talk to your parents. You know, before you watch this, same as I will give with any mature rated game that I play on my channel, that, you know, to make sure, and parents, same, you know, to you, uh, to be cautious before you let your kids watch this. So anyway, with now that that is taken care of, let's get started. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Connect to the database. And as you can see, I am playing this on the PlayStation 3. Connection. Secure connection confirmed. All right, and as you can see here with the profile, you can choose to go with the default here. I can, I could select an existing one, which is one of the previous playthroughs, or I can just make a new one. And I'm gonna make a new one. I'll make a custom mail. Please log in to access your profile. Hmm. You know what? Let's go with Neeks. Huh. There we go, Neeks Shepherd. Searching for his profile in the database. 
in the classified military database. Oh. Warning. Data corruption detected. Oh, we've lost my profile. <laughs> Poor Neek Shepard. Now no one knows Please who he is. Please reconstruct profile. So I gotta Confirm now re recreate history. it from scratch. Now this is where you're, this is a very interesting uh, aspect of it. Giving your your character some background, and this is gonna be you're gonna uh, notice in the dialogue. This is gonna be referred to numerous times throughout this game. So here are the three backgrounds: the spacer, both of your parents were in the Alliance military. Your childhood was spent on ships and stations as they transferred from posting to posting, never staying in one location for more than a few years. Following in your parents' footsteps, you enlisted at the age of 18. The colonist, you were born and raised on Mindwar, a small border colony in the Attican Traverse. When you were 16, slavers raided Mindwar, slaughtering your family and friends. You were saved by a passing alliance patrol, and you enlisted with the military a few years later. Earthborn, you were an orphan raised on the streets of the great metropol metropolises covering Earth. You escaped the life of petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting with the alliance military when you turned 18. Honestly... My favorite here is the spacer, partly because I kind of relate to it a bit, only because throughout my childhood I moved a lot, so I kind of understand what that feels like. And plus, you know, it's, you know, the fact that it says here that uh, his both of his parents uh, were in the military. I'm guessing maybe they're both still alive. <laughs> I say guessing, even though I played this uh, more than once. So, but uh, yeah. So I, this is usually my favorite. The Confirm spacer. psychological profile. Now this is a di now this is another aspect of it. The sole survivor during your service, a mission that you were on went horribly wrong. Trapped in an extreme survival situation, you had to overcome physical torments and psychological stresses that would have broken most people. You survived while all those around you fell, and now you alone are left to tell the tale. The war hero. Early in your military career, you found yourself facing an overwhelming enemy force. You risked your own life to save your fellow soldiers and defeat the enemy despite the impossible odds. Your bravery and heroism have earned you medals and recognition from the Alliance fleet. And Ruthless. Throughout your military career, you have held fast to one basic rule. Get the job done. You've been called cold, calculating, and brutal. Your reputation for ruthless efficiency makes your fellow soldiers wary of you, but when failure is not an option, the military always goes to you first. And my favorite here is the war hero, especially if you're gonna go with the uh, the good or bad uh, system here. Uh, war hero to me is like, if you're gonna go all the way uh, good or paragon as it's called in this, paragon and renegade, if you're gonna go full paragon, to me it's like, he's a hero. So I go with Confirm war hero. military specialization. Now here are the different classes that you can pick from. Soldier, engineer, adept, infiltrator, sentinel, and vanguard. I've experimented with each of these, and for this particular character that we're going to do for this playthrough, we're going to go with the Engineer. Now, as you can see, I've unlocked numerous bonus talents here. And the thing I like about the Engineer is that he's already got decryption, so he can already hack stuff on his own. Uh, I could unlock an extra weapon for him to use other than the pistol, but I'm really not going to need it. Uh, so, let's see. Either lift, throw, warp singularity, barrier, stasis... Hmm, I think I'll go with Barry. Confirm facial identification. Now you could go with the default or you could go with a unique appearance. And I'm gonna go for a you know, trying to you know mod him up just you know just a bit. So let's see. Uh first thing I like to do is the hair. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Huh. Nah. I kind of like, I want to go with, I'm going to go with this one. It's like, he doesn't really need, you know, need time to, uh, you know, fix up his hair. <laughs> uh, I'm going to, let's see. No, not full blonde. Not this guy. You know what? He's going to go brown. Kind of brownish hair color. Yeah. Brows. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to go with this. And beard, eh. He's not gonna have a full on beard. Just maybe some facial hair. Just around his mouth. Maybe something like that, maybe. Let's see the others. Hmm. 
think I'm gonna go with this one. Okay, so got that good. All right, now let's see. Facial structure, scars. Yeah, so you can give your guy multiple different types of scars to show that he, you know, what he's gone through in battles. And that's a kind of I, I kind of like that. The fu the funny thing is they take this out of the second and third game, which is kind of a disappointment. I li I did like this that you could give him you know some kind of scar to show what he's gone through in battles in years past. So hmm hmm. Actually, I kind I kind of like this one. A l little scar on his cheek that he got, you know, maybe from some. Uh, from shot from uh, some bullet or something passing through, passing by his face or something. Oh man, the complexion, yikes. Makes him really old. Nah, we don't want him to be an old guy. Hmm. Nah, I like this default kind of facial structure. And let's see, eyes. Kind of, I guess, brown eyes. So there's, yeah, there's really not much I mess with when it you know comes to a character creation unless I'm like I apparently want him to like really look specific now, nose yeah I don't want him to have a strange looking nose or anything hmm yeah that's kind of a this is kind of a normal looking nose I think <laughs> Okay, uh, I think that's gonna do it. Yep, this is profile reconstruction finalized. complete. Neeks Shepard. All right, so I think I got my guy ready.